Making Lemonade, Hints for Autism's Helpers. And I would like to read you the introduction to that book. Dear teachers and other helpers of people with autism, hello, I have autism. I am Judy. I'm a unique person just like you. Most of the time, I like myself. A lot of the time I get frustrated. The things that cause me to become frustrated every day involve the stuck of autism. I can get stuck in so many ways, I consider myself an expert on the topic. This is a good example of the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Each everyday little stuck is like another lemon. Now there are lots of things you can do with one lemon, but what if you have lots of lemons, then what? The way I see it is that you can throw them out, let them rot and then throw them out, or make lemonade. I am an old lady, according to my son. All my life I've had lots of lemons. This means I've had lots of opportunities to try all three of these what to do with lots of lemons strategies. The corresponding end results of the above three strategies are immediate death, slow death, or lemonade. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Of course, we would all pick lemonade over death at any speed, immediate or slow. The really great thing about this is that people with autism tend to have a lot of lemons. They often get stuck. So if you are any kind of helper to a person on the autism spectrum, you are indeed blessed. You're already on the road to success. You have an abundant, never-ending supply of lemons at your disposal. And no matter what, you do need lemons to make lemonade. This is a very profound truth. It can't be said enough. You need lots of lemons to make lemonade. This means that if God, or your principal, or your special ed director, put lemons in your fruit basket, don't be trying to change them into apples or oranges or anything else. Even if you can rationalize that it is in the best interest of the lemons to become oranges so they might better fit in, please don't go there. You will only use a lot of time, energy, and days of the school year trying to change lemons into something they cannot ever become. And while you are busy trying to change lemons into oranges so they might better fit in, all the fruit in your basket intuitively learns there is a big difference between Joey's lemons and our oranges. Oranges are best and lemons are bad. You will never need to say these things or indeed even to think them. But if you are trying to change lemons into oranges, this is what you will be teaching. And no matter how hard you try, you cannot change the lemons of autism into oranges or into anything else neurotypical. The best you can do is to help the lemons you see to become the best looking, best functioning lemons possible. I think of my lemons of autism as the fruit of who I am. I was born wired to fit or not to fit depending on your perspective, into this world. I cannot change my internal wiring any more than I can change my genes. I cannot change my lemons any more than I can change my blue eye color. I have autism. I have lemons. I choose to learn how to make lemonade. Will you help me learn how? Sincerely, the stuck of autism. So that's the introduction to my first book, Making Lemonade, Hints for Autism's Helpers.